Hi, this is Malini. Today I'm going to talk to you about Dioscoria elephantitis, also known as elephant's foot. It's native to South Africa and it's a unique succulent um, that's slow growing as well as long lasting. Um, it's unique because one of the features it has is this tuber or a codex. And it's an interesting shape. It acts as a form of water storage to help survive during periods of drought. Um, and it's also central when it's growing in its native South African climate. Here I'm going to show you a more mature plant um, with a lot larger codex and this, the layers of corky um, bark that you see covering this whole uh, codex or tuber. Now this plant um, generally can reach about two feet tall uh, with the vines, maybe two, two and a half feet tall, and about, um, maybe about a foot wide. Now in its natural habitat in the wild, it can get a lot larger. One other thing I wanna show you is this trellis. And this is essential to have. As you see, it's a very um, nice climber here. And this trellis helps keep the vines um, in shape to maintain um, the shape as well. And it has these beautiful heart-shaped leaves. Let me show you a little bit more here. These really pretty vines here. Now the vines are stems of the elephant's foot. It's a, it grows in a very climbing fashion. And they prefer full sun to filter light water about once every 10 to 14 days and uh, a quick tip to water uh, how to water this is to try to water around this codex try not to pour water over it it's best to water around the codex um, so that helps prevent root rot and of course when you're planting um, succulents especially the elephant's foot you want to use a well-drained succulent mix um, so that helps also prevent root rot now the plant does go dormant uh, that means the leaves drop sometime when the weather is warm. So when sometime in the spring to early summer or during the summer, the leaves might drop. Now they might drop. Some people actually will say they're, they still have leaves on their elephant's foot and that is normal. Um, but when the leaves do drop and sometime in the, when the weather starts to warm up, they return sometime back in the uh, late fall to early winter. And the the flowers are palish green yellow. So this is a great plant to have if you want to use it for your plant collection. And you can start off small and see how it grows. Thank you for watching.